Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back from the Minnesota Twins discussion video. This is the game review. Man, I thought this was going to be a lot more exciting. Um, goodness sakes, that was awful. Uh, I mean, holy cow, I don't even know what to say. So let's just go through the box score and that'll pretty much tell you the story of how bad this game was. Um, let's, let's start with the box score. Uh, Seattle scored nine runs on 13 hits and they had an error. Okay, they had one error. We scored six runs on 11 hits. We had five errors, and they all came in the late innings when it mattered. Uh, my goodness, man. I don't I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, Barrios pitched one heck of a game. Wasn't his fault. Our bullpen fell apart. We shouldn't have even been in this situation in the first place. And then we got ourselves back in the freaking game. And we still blew it. Man, freaking Sano. I tell you what, I can't deal with it anymore. I I can't deal with it. You guys, you tell me what you're seeing, because I'm not I'm not seeing it anymore. Um so let me know. But let's start with the pitching like we always do. Barrios, one heck of an outing. I mean he gave up a run. One run. In six and a two thirds innings. Um so in the seventh inning. Gave up seven hits, might not be his greatest performance, sure, but struck out six, walked two. That's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. Um, it's one of his better starts as of late, at least. I'm happy with that, right? He literally threw one bad pitch. The guy teed off on it. I don't think Vogelbach is an MLB player. You can prove me wrong about that. Granted, I don't like how the baseball game is played today. I really like how Seattle has got... Long, Gordon, um, Smith, Moore is not the slowest guy. Santana's not the slowest guy. I really like Seattle. I like how they're built. Obviously, Vogelbach and Encarnacion are literally their power guys. I don't think they're really baseball players, though. Edwin Encarnacion, he's a different story. But Vogelbach, he's literally the only thing he does is swing to hit home runs. That's what he did. And he got, he got one off of Barrios, right? Left it over the plate. It's fine. What can you do? One bad pitch, right? It's what, he always does it one time a game. Then we brought in Morin. Great job. Get out of the little after he gave up the double. Um, Barrios was pulled. Couldn't finish the seventh inning, which is fine. He, his pitch count was way higher. I didn't even think they were going to send him back out there for the seventh. Obviously, they wanted to get him the win. He deserved the win in this game. We had no run support through the first six innings of this game. I mean, through the first seven innings. We had a zero up on the board. So sixth inning is when he gave up the home run. My bad. But, man, that's tough, right? And then May came in, gave up two earned runs. Not good for him in one out that he got. Parker, my gosh, Parker didn't even record an out. Gave up three runs. Two of them were earned on two hits and a home run. The one home run was a three-run home run, which what can you do about that? And then Eads came in, gave up two hits, but struck out two. He did good. I mean, he doesn't have a, he isn't allowed to run this year. And then Duffy, who has pitched. Can somebody let me know the last time Duffy didn't pitch in a game, please? Like, honestly, I swear Duffy comes in every single game. He gave up two, uh, or one hit, three runs. He walked two. I don't trust this bullpen. I don't trust Duffy. I do not trust Duffy. I don't think I ever have, uh, Unless we're up, like, a lot. I just don't trust him. May, I haven't... I haven't not trusted May, but last night the save was a little bit iffy. He got the job done. But then he had to come back and pitch today. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing, Baldelli? He shouldn't have to come back and, back and pitch today. Especially when Parker didn't pitch yesterday. Eads didn't pitch yesterday. Why is May coming out and pitching again? That's a dumb decision on my part, or on your part, I think, in my opinion. But then... Let's talk about hitting. We had absolutely zero hits through the first. I mean, we got hits, but like, you know what I'm saying? We got freaking shut down by who other than Tommy Malone. Are you kidding me, twins? This guy throws 87 miles an hour. Now, granted, here's the thing. I understand. He's a finesse lefty, okay? When he can locate, what can you do, right? Right? Throw up your hands and be like, hey, he beat me, right? He was throwing 66% change-ups. That's tough, right? We haven't seen a pitcher do this all year. But when you're throwing 66% change-ups, 
even less. What eighty four? Is is that what his changeup was? Eighty miles an hour down the heart of the plate, and Garver's just gonna watch it. Are you kidding me? Like really? I think you're a little bit better than that, Garver. Um, but like he had how many strikeouts did did Malone have tonight in six innings? He had six strikeouts. My goodness, that should not be happening. Come on, not against this team that has Crone, Sano, Buxton, Garver, and Cruz, who can all hit from the right side. Polanco and Gonzalez both hit from the right side. Kepler and Rosario are the only two guys that hit from the left side. Like, we should be teeing off on this guy who throws 87 miles an hour. We know how he pitches, too. Come on. That's frustrating. I know what else is frustrating is Miguel Sano. Like, I tell you, I rat on him a lot. I'm sorry. This is my take on it. I kind of gave it last night, but I'll give you a little bit more in depth. We have given him three years, at least. Four years. This is his fourth year. He's had injuries. He's never proven that he can be the guy we need. I'm not saying we shouldn't give up on him. But he made two errors tonight. A bad error. Like, those are bad errors. That's an easy ground ball to your left side. Scoop, throw to first. Not saying that I can make the play. I'm not in the major leagues. But you are. You should be able to make that play. And to, to throw the ball then, that you should be smarter than that. So just field it. Okay, I messed up. Let's not give him another run. That's what sucks. I Granted, he got two hits tonight. One was a double. Sure. But that's there's no consistency. He had a good night against a bad lefty pitcher. Malone, not an ace, right? He is a guy who was picked up, who was thrown not a lot of innings this year. He is not the guy that should be retiring 14 out of 15 guys in a righty dominant lineup, right? Come on. So... That's what I'm telling you guys. I just, I can't see, I cannot see us continuing to go with Sano here. I know he had a bad night. I know he strikes out a lot. He only struck out once tonight, but can we really keep this going? Can we, like, honestly, guys, what are you seeing that I'm not? I'm just, I can't, I can't see this continuing, right? But let's talk about the hitting, the actual hitting part of it. I mean, we were down one to nothing. Our bullpen laid to rest gave up the game and we almost came back i mean what an effort by the team the even miguel sano hitting wise they all found a way to get back into the game right i don't want to rat on them too badly because they did come back right they tied this game gave us a chance of course our bullpen got us into this situation in the first place our bullpen put us in the situation in the 10th and of course with errors it didn't help Garver should have caught that ball. Would he have tagged Gordon out at third base or coming home? It would have been close, but you got to catch the ball first. You know what I'm saying? There's these little errors. Three in the 10th inning. Are you kidding me? But let's start, start it off. Uh, we had no runs through the entire six innings. Um, then Kepler and uh, Gonzalez came alive. Gonzalez hit a home run to lead off the seventh. Kepler led off the eighth with a home run, and then Polanco extended his hitting streak. Cruz got a single, I think, too. Rosario didn't do anything, but Garver came up and got a couple of hits. Then Gonzalez got another hit as well. I mean, they came back, right? So we were down six to one. Came back, scored three. The next inning, came back, scored two more. Sano did get a base hit, and then Buxton with a huge. Ninth inning home run. All right, that would be the story of this game if we were able to win or whatever happened to the 10th inning. But then we fell apart. So the story, obviously you guys can go watch the highlights. I recommend you do. It was a great game. Uh, but, of course, we were on the losing end of it. And that's why this video is as it is. But, I mean, props to Gonzalez. Great home run. Kepler gets his 16th. No, 12th. Sorry. 12th home run of the year. Good for him. Buxton got his, what, 8th or ninth, Something like that. Um, I mean, that's awesome, right? Those guys deserve... All the guys in the in the lineup deserve... Even, you know, Snow, Garver for making a mistake. Crone made a mistake. It's fine. 
all of those guys found a way to get back in the game. And unfortunately, yes, the errors did cost us, but Kepler one for five with the home run, an RBI and a run. Polanco one for five with a run. Uh, Cruz went one for four with a walk. That was, you know, those are big hits right there. Rosario, I don't know what that last swing was in the ninth inning, but he went 0 for 5 tonight. Tough night for him at the plate. Did score a run, though. Um, then Garver, 2 for 5 with an RBI. Gonzalez, 2 for 5 with two RBIs and a run because of his home run. Crone went 1 for 4. Sano went 2 for 4 with a double and a run. And then Buxton with the big two-run home run to tie the game in the ninth. Uh, went 1 for 4 with two RBIs and a run, but... It's so unfortunate, you know, when errors come back to bite you. They, we, we, we ran into a wall against Malone. It doesn't happen a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised that this is how the outcome was. I mean, we went from the greatest game, the greatest comeback ever last night. We tried to do it again, and we couldn't finish it off. But holy cow, what a game it was. I don't, I don't know what to tell you other than that. Uh, obviously, this is frustrating. But we just got to come back tomorrow. It's in the past now. Today's video gets cut off after today. And we move forward. Realistically, I think we should have had the sweep here. You know, regardless of what Pineda does tomorrow, we should have taken the series today and, and gone forth. But what can you do? So uh, that's the video, guys. I Let's talk about it down in the comments below. Uh, I definitely want to know your opinion. Um, you know, on Sano, on the game itself with the errors, what do we do? So I want to know your opinion. Thanks for watching till the end, guys. If you did miss yesterday's video, click up here, somewhere up here, uh, and there will be a link to yesterday's game. But other than that, I will see you tomorrow for hopefully the series win video uh, against the Mariners. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you then.